Hey all here OS Reviews, a few months back we did a review on the BenQ Insta Show, which was dubbed as a plug and play wireless HD presentation system. It's meant for businesses and it's kind of like a wireless HDMI kit and tap on this button and it sends whatever is displayed on your laptop over to the big screen. Unlike a wireless dongle such as the Google Chromecast, a click and share solution like this is more secure because the box itself doesn't need to connect to your router or your internet. It doesn't take up bandwidth. And also it's more simple. Simply tap on one key to send the image over as opposed to fiddling around with software on your computer that you may need to install in order to share your screen. So the version that we're taking a look at today is really similar, but instead of being made by BenQ, it's made by the folks over at EasyCast. So we previously checked out some of their other dongle products, which is again kind of similar to the Google Chromecast, and it was pretty impressive because it supported 4K resolution, uh, but now they also have a click and share solution just like the BenQ InstaShare. You can actually pick up uh, the box and the receivers individually so that you can build your own kit. The base itself, which is going to be the receiver that connects to the monitor or television, Vision sells for about $500, and then there is a model here, the QuadroPod, which uh, supports 4K resolution um, that sells for $300 a pop, and then the smaller version here, which supports Full HD or 1080p screen sharing, sells for $250. Now the QuadroPod does have a few advantages compared to BenQ's solution, namely that 4K resolution support is something that the BenQ was missing. It was only able to cast uh, 1080p content to the display, uh, but again there is a 4K box uh, version in here. The second advantage is that these can also be connected to a smartphone. So you can plug this into an Android smartphone, for example, and then share the screen from your phone over to the base as well. Again, you don't need to install any software or mess around with any settings. You simply tap the key and it sends the screen of your mobile device over to the television. Just like what we said with the BenQ review though, if you're just a casual consumer at home, using a Google Chromecast, for example, or one of the EasyCasts uh, will definitely more than suffice and uh, still give you a nice experience if you need to share content from your screen at a fraction of the cost, even though maybe the setup is uh, something that takes a little bit longer and takes up some of your internet bandwidth, but uh, it, we're talking about a huge price difference there. Uh, but again, for businesses that really value security and simplicity, that's really why they would want to look to solutions like this and other wireless HDMI kits. A closer look at the hardware, the base receiver here is constructed out of aluminum. It kind of reminds me of an Android TV box, so very premium. The side here features a USB port because uh, basically this guy needs to be plugged into your computer's USB port in addition to HDMI port because it needs a USB port to draw power and the HDMI port to draw the video signal to then share over to the display. So because it occupies one USB port, uh, a clever design here is that they're still giving you one more pass-through USB port. So it's a nice little extra touch that the BenQ, for example, did not have. Uh, on the BenQ, it simply just occupies occupies that USB plug, and then there's nothing else on the sides. Um, otherwise, there's also a switch that you can use if you want to go back and forth between a PC uh, or a mobile device, like again, your Android smartphone, you can simply tap on that switch uh, and it will adjust itself accordingly. And here's the HDMI port that you use to plug in the HDMI cable into your laptop. So on the QuadroPod, you can see how all these cables are detachable and replaceable versus on the BenQ where they were integrated and you can't actually remove them. Now the mini adapter, in my opinion, looks the closest to BenQ's receiver in terms of its design because it also has the cables plugged in on the edge. But once again, the cables themselves can actually be detached and it's also magnetic on the QuadroPod. So it can actually stick onto the base like this, almost like a keychain for easier handling, which is something that the BenQ is missing. We have the base station connected to a display, and you can see that it's just showing us some very basic instructions. Again, I can connect this either to a smartphone or a laptop. It can be any operating system from Linux, Chrome OS, Windows, Mac OS, and it's all going to be recognized just plug and play. So you can actually connect up to four devices and split the screen on the TV at once, which is really cool. So for example, I've connected one of the uh, transmitters to a Chrome OS laptop, and now you can see how the screen of the laptop has been transformed and pushed over wirelessly uh, just through this little receiver. I can also now mirror my second device which is actually connected to a Samsung Galaxy S8 so it's using the DeX mode for a desktop-like experience, and now we have two split screens being displayed at once um, if you want to kind of be interactive in your presentation, which is 
again, really cool. It can split the screen up to four parts if you have four uh, devices or four laptops that you want to put up simultaneously. Now I can also exit out of one particular screen. Let's leave the Chrome OS screen just by tapping on that button, and now the deck screen of the smartphone will be maximized. In particular, the smartphone or mobile device compatibility is just really cool. So I'm connected this to actually a hub because there needs to be a Type-C port that connects to the HDMI, but from here I can simply tap on the red button once and that will now push the screen over to the uh, monitor as you can see there. As far as connection range, it's roughly a hundred feet or so. So if you're in a larger conference room, if you're in a living room, making sure that the box and the receiver are relatively close by and it will be fine. Um, if you're trying to use it in a completely different level of a building or a really different room, you might notice some dropped uh, you know, connectivity issues. But again, that's to be expected and overall works without too many problems. So if we do a quick demo, let's try playing back, say, a different video. And you can see that the video is playing back actually pretty smoothly. Um, it's not something that's requiring a lot of kind of drop frames. It's uh, pretty smooth in terms of its animations. Inside of your presentation, of course, you can embed videos. You can just use it in general to watch back videos if you want to uh, watch movies and share it onto a large projector screen. And again, it still is very enjoyable as far as the frame rates animations are concerned everything is keeping up without too many issues the images can be transferred over in you know very nice clarity because you do have up to 4k resolution and it all is happening again in a very smooth and well-performing uh, overall situation so that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the easycast pro quadropod series of Overall, this is a great competitor, I think, to BenQ's InstaShare, this one offering better integration with mobile devices and higher resolution. With that being said, EasyCast Pro is not really offering that steep of a discount in terms of price compared to the BenQ InstaShare. In fact, they're par on par. Again, the entire kit selling for about $1,000. Same thing goes with the InstaShare, which are all on the higher end of the spectrum. You can learn more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the QuadroPod series from EasyCast Pro.